Thank you, everybody, and welcome to this uh, second morning of uh, Eco Summit. I'm glad that at least uh, I don't have to wear sunglasses like Jan. <laughs> so, Jan, um, you promised me there would be slides in front of me so I wouldn't have to look at the screen, but um, um, so I guess that's not working yet. So, Seth, we invest in sustainable energy solutions, uh, technologies that address climate change, because that's the challenge of our generation. And um, for many people, the energy transition looks like more solar panels and more wind turbines. And of course, you may think it's not going fast enough, but it's definitely going faster and faster. And of course, we're all optimistic about uh, deploying even more new uh, innovative technologies. But is that incremental opportunity, that incremental growth, really a venture opportunity? We think there is an even bigger transition going on, which is the systemic change of the energy system itself. Because we used to make as much energy as we needed, just let the turbine spin a little bit faster. But we're going to have to get used to only having as much energy as we made, or stored. And because nobody wants to surrender any comfort, that really means we're going to solve it at the systems level. So, SET invests at the intersection of three megatrends. Sustainability, electrification, digitalization, and we see that as the key driver for innovation in our sector. So this is how we have segmented our market. We invest in managing infrastructure, uh, retail, buildings, mobility, industry, and all the underlying sectors, all the underlying technologies that, that drive that. Um, for us, um, a couple of examples, green flux, in EV charging, that was a nice exit earlier this year together with our friends from Ineco, who also invested in Energy Works, an energy data management platform. Um, we're investing in electrifying last mile logistics. Um, we're investing in mobile batteries at Instagrid, you'll hear about, and um, automated energy trading with S4 in, energy services for industry, also up on this stage. So the energy sector used to be um, a closed system, and the power outlet was the main interface to the outside world. But the energy system of the future is connected with every sector of the economy. Because companies everywhere are faced with the challenge, how do I integrate renewable energy solutions in, in my products and services? That's why car companies want to sell you energy. That's why real estate companies want to sell you energy. That's why internet companies want to tell you where they got their energy from. And we see energy as an important driver for that, for that change. And in many tech sectors, the US is in the lead, but the energy, the energy transition is different. Europe has a unique opportunity to set the path and the pace there is a perfect storm of public demand for action, political support through the Green Deal, and a huge base of innovation. And it's up to us to turn that into global success and strategic autonomy. Sustainability is impacting choices that consumers and businesses make. And stakeholders demand more than financial returns. They want full transparency. SET has led the way in implementing ESG and impact across our investment decisions. So for us, ESG is not a list of exclusion criteria or checklist items. It really is a framework for managing risk in a very structural way. Um, and we've also advanced how we integrate measuring environmental impact across our portfolio. For every investment we make, we agree a set of impact criteria which are tracked along the way of the investment and beyond. And as a fund manager, we've committed ourselves to those objectives, even at the level of our own compensation. So I'm very proud of our team. And uh, we really had to fight who was going to get uh, to Eco Summit this year for this uh, very special edition. Thank you, Jan. 
uh, but I want to highlight uh, two recent additions that really illustrate our commitment to the German market. So Till Stenzel um, joined us as a venture partner um, from a long career in energy industry and, um, and a brief detour at uh, Deutsche, Capital, uh, Deutsche Telekom Capital Partners. And of course, Christopher Ostermann, known to you, uh, known to many of you, who has joined our team as an entrepreneur in residence to help us stay close to the whole entrepreneurial ecosystem. So, um, we're committed to addressing climate change. And if you have a company that we should look at, please come and see me. But regardless of your investment need, please let us know if there's any way to help, because it really is up to us collectively to uh, turn this around and uh, address climate change as the monumental uh, challenge of our time. Thank you.